Alright guys, what up? This is going to be the RimWorld playthrough I promised you guys in the Killing Floor video. Um, it's going to be modded. Here's a list of the mods right here. Uh, this will show you, you can pause to see what I have active, what I don't. Um, I have quite a few mods on, but nothing that really, you know, makes it too easy. I mean, a lot of this stuff is like Rim Madness, which adds some really cool stuff to it. I turned off the realistic darkness because it's way too dark at night for even me to see. And I know base game on while recording, it's kind of hard to see as is. And increased forest density was just retarded. I mean, it added so many trees. I mean, it's that'd be kind of realistic in some places, but it's just crazy. Really, the rest of it, nothing much. I mean, I had to have prepared carefully because I have a thing loaded that I will run through with you guys. You know, show you what it is. Um... The rest of it's just kind of like quality of life stuff. <clears throat> Let's go. New colony. Crash landed. We're going to be using the HP Lovecraft, but the population times two storyteller. So basically it doubles the population caps during gameplay, as it says here. We're going to be playing on extreme. And let's go. Um, let's randomize the seat a few times. Uh, Jackson. Hey, uh... Let's do... Bringa. I don't know. Generate. This might take a while, though. So, <coughs> um, Next after this, though, is going to be that Hoi 4 gameplay. Or not gameplay. Playthrough of the Old World's Blues mod. Old World's Blues. Old World Blues mod. There we go. I don't, I've been doing running some tests on it. I don't know who I want to play as yet. That's why that one hasn't dropped yet. And this, I was running through mods for a couple days. So... That's why it took a few more days after the Killing Floor 2 gameplay came out. Might do another one, though, as I, like, you know, talk about some other things that are going on if I really choose to. Right now, it's been pretty dry, though, due to the fact that, um, school cl school's just started back up, <coughs> excuse me, for a lot of my friends online. So, I don't know. I have a lot of time in my hands now. Come on, game. I'm going to be doing probably... <coughs> See, I did a... I ran a test on a few other places, like I did the infected caves, which I had to run seven guys for, all armed to the teeth, and they still barely survived. So that's probably a no-go. These atolls are pretty cool, if you could see in here. Let me zoom in here. Oh, that's unique. Like, that's just randomly out there. Look at these atolls here. They're pretty cool. Oh, what's... Oh, wow, I've actually never seen that one before. Spike Mountains. That'd be interesting to play in the middle of the water, you know? These atolls aren't bad. They're pretty cool places. I mean, <clears throat> a lot of greenery on them, you know, but it's completely flat. I have a mod in here that enables a few more new unique biomes, like here we go. Here's the infected tunnels. Or infested, not infected. Underground caves are inter interconnecting many sinkholes of various sizes. The sinkholes are of natural origin. The cave tunnels not so much. Giant insectoids dug these tunnels over years and now live in them. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, then that spike mountains there. And then we have, like, simple caves. Here, let me see if I can find a more in-depth one. Here we are. Just regular old cave systems, you know. Tunnel world caves and the cave entrances and shit like that. Um, oh, this would suck to land in here, because then you're completely blocked in. God, that would be cancerous. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't let me go. I was just curious. Um, <coughs> I don't know. What are we looking for here? I'm thinking some just pretty silly in the temperate region here. Maybe on a main road. What are these guys? Oregano, Bronco, let's see, are they friendly? No, they are not. Those guys are not friendly. So, yeah, and probably basing somewhere around here isn't that good. Well, we have 100% world coverage, so we got plenty of space to look around. So we got it down here. <coughs> it gets pretty cold in the winter. Uh, I'm kind of looking for something on a main road, though. You know, something like, maybe like this. I want some with large hills, though. I don't want, like, small hills. Here we go, like, large hills right here. Stony Road and Ancient Asphalt Highway. That'd be pretty cool, right here, connected in the middle of, uh, this area. Look at these blue guys. Humanitarian treaties. Oh, they're actually nice. Everyone hates the hatches. We do have a society of elder things and wolves. Wolf pack. I don't know if that's... I think that's a modded. So, I'm thinking right here might be good. It's Era Troublin, though. I really don't want to do Era Troublin. Let's keep this in mind now while we keep looking. I'm willing to do air troubling, I just would like not to. 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Savannah, but it's kind of dry. But, you know, arid shrubland's pretty fucking dry, too. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Seems interesting. Nothing on the roads, though, unfortunately. I mean, I'm fine being off the roads, to be honest. No, it's mountainous. I don't want to do mountains. That's way too easy for me. All I ever did. Here we go. This might be doing it good. Maybe not. Tropical rainforest. Huh. Ooh, a swamp. That would be pretty interesting to play in a swamp. It's all tropical rainforest. Let's go over here. Oh, this might work. Right here. Temporary forest, large hills, marble and granite. Sandstone, slate, marble. I'm kind of looking at the thing here. Marble, granite, granite, sandstone. I think I'm just going to do this one, marble and granite. Just simple, easy. You know, we're playing on extreme as is, so... And I'm not the best at this game. No, I'm not a master at it. So let's do... Let's go in and prepare carefully here. Let's load this preset. Now this preset is pretty well custom. You know, I wanted to go with a little backstory of my own here, so this is what I went with. You know, I'm using the um, military uniforms, obviously. Now, kind of the story here is they were one of the first, you know, ships into space, and they got lost in space and kind of showed up again a couple hundred years later and landed on a random planet in the middle of nowhere. So, or, well, kind of crashed onto a planet. They don't really have... They have some decent skills, like this guy's 7 and 8, and he's shooting a melee. Construction 6 with a 2 passion. Growing is 2 with a 1, one passion. You know, not too good at it, but he's got a little bit of passion for it. This is alright, but that's because he's an abandoned child, and Space Marine gives you a lot of shooting skill. Castillo here, uh, he used to be a bone collector when he was younger. Space Marine now. Uh, no social, unfortunately, because, you know, being a bone collector, not too good at socializing. Uh, pretty bad shooting in melee. He likes being, he's very intellectual though, and just pretty decent at cooking. He can do medicine pretty well. Actually, give me a second, I don't like that. I edited these because they were really broken before, so. Then the Sarge here. <laughs> he was an apocalypse survivor, which gives him, you know, good shooting right out the bat. He's got a double passion for shooting. And he's going to be the only one that starts off with a gun. And you can go through the traits and stuff, bloodlust, but beautiful, you know, physically sensitive, but he's a jogger, and he's a hard worker, but he's also nervous, so. And this guy, he's social, you know, he's decent with medicine, but pretty mad and everything else. Uh, no relationships, and their equipment, basic, one auto pistol, two knives, you know what, let's do one knife right off the bat. 300 steel, 200 wood, 20 medicine, 40 package survival meals. And I forgot to add the components. See? That's all you guys are going to see right here. Just 30. That's all we have. No hickory dickory dock, you know, bullshit here. So, as you can see, same shit. Alright, let's go. And as it loads, I'm thinking, I'm hoping that we get like... Okay, that, that's a big-ass building right off the bat. I might actually just open that, maybe use that as a starting base. That'd be pretty dope. Kind of worried to open that, though, because I don't know what's going to be in there. So let's give Sarge the auto pistol. And Lewis was the one that was good at the melee, if I'm correct. Oh, great. You know, I think I might just wing it and just right off the bat crack this pa bubby puppy open. But first, let's set up their jobs real quick. Let's get one, one, one. Got to get the firefight impatient down. Uh, doctoring will go to the Sarge. All of them get bed rest. Uh, Flick. Yeah, sure. Warden him because he's the best. Handle. Yeah, go ahead. Negotiations will be done by him. Cooking. Yep. Hunting only by him as of right now because he's the only one that's got a weapon. Construction by him. And I kind of want to train your construction skills, so I'll put you at two. I want all of them to grow. But we're going to put growing for them at a two. Mining, I want all of them to be able to mine, just because it's a good skill for them to have. Plant cutting, obviously everyone can do it. Let's set that to two, though. Uh, smithing, I don't need right now. Tailoring, I don't need right now. But for now, I'll leave it at three. Art, I'll leave it at three. 
Same thing there. Hauling and cleaning, though, I want at one and researching at two. Because not worried about researching right now. Let's get this puppy open real quick, because, you know, they're marines, so they're going to want to know what this ancient danger is. Let's get you in there. Oh, come on, dude. Uh, let's see if he can finish it without puking this time. Oh, this is already GG. I think we've already basically lost the game at this point. Can we get something built in there real quick? Oh, God. Can we just really quickly here just bury that up? Oh god, Castillo. Come on, Castillo. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm gonna see if I can lock it down, because I don't want that centipede coming out. Or, well, those scythers, either. Okay. So we'll just leave them in there for now. That could have been so much worse than it really was. Well, it's an interesting place we're gonna have to clear out shortly. Especially because, let's see, is there anything else, anywhere else that's good worth, you know, setting up? Over here might be nice. Oh, I see another building, I thought. Never mind, I thought I saw another Ancient Danger building. Let's see, do we have anything particularly good over here? Oh, there's another building right there. And a nice steel pocket. Hmm. Uh, this isn't bad. I'm thinking setting up right around here, maybe digging into this mountain a little bit, this one here, and then using this outward area as a blockade while we block this back area off. That might be good. Yeah, let's do that. So, for now, let's do... Here we go. Let's cut down some trees, just some a little bit of trees here, just get some basic wood out, and let's block this off with a, wood, with a steel wall for now. So, let's do that one for now. God, that was horrifying. Those psychic shock lances would probably be nice to have, though. Everything in there. Okay. Let's get these guys to cut down these trees, and then... Let's get a basic, you know, place up for now. Just something simple. Just like that, with a door here. This will be their barracks for the night. Hopefully I can get that stuff in there. We're actually going to do the military cot beds, just because they're, you know, probably easier to build. In my opinion. So. Cut down the rest of these damn trees. Get this area roofed off. And just because it would bug me if I don't, <laughs> let's put a floor in. Simple. It's wooden floors. Wooden floors are easy to put in. They don't take too long. Let's see how we go. Good. Uh, poor, unfortunately. And poor. So. Alright, see? Nice and done. That's a whole room done for them for the night. Let's quickly... Let's do this, though. I don't like restricting them at all. I, let the I like to let them do whatever the hell they want. I will make them do one hour joy a day, though, at different times. So we'll do the his at 8, uh, 9, and then 10. So at least at some point, everyone's working and re relaxing, though. Well, this is going on. It's raining, unfortunately. Let's get... Okay, that's all steeled up. I want to get more of it steeled up, though. Some down here. Can we, t can we take that out real quick? See what's in now? It's probably just a one-pocket gap, but who knows. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Alright, down here, though. I'm going to want to quickly mine this out, because I'm going to put the stockpile down here. Uh, let me cancel these ones over quick because I have a better idea. I'm going to make this double wall just in case. So we'll do structure... Uh, steel. What the hell is he doing down here? Is he just wandering? Oh, he's just wandering. Oh, let's get this. I'm going to want to build a nice little wall of this stuff around here. So let's do zone on area, dumping stockpile. Three... And three. Oh, God damn it! I want to delete this stockpile, though. Delete. Dumping. There we go. Regular stockpile. Down there for now. 
And let's build a roof area here, and I'm going to expand the stockpile a little bit more. And then that should clear up everything for the first day, I would say. Let's just let them do their thing. And, oh, I think I just saw some of the spiders here. Yeah, fucking asshole. Okay, this could either end really well or really bad. I don't want him eating all our food. Let's get you to retreat somewhere. Okay. Uh, bruise and crack. Okay, so nothing too horrible. Okay, that thing is just not gonna die, is it? Jesus. I didn't want it eating all our goddamn food. Which apparently no one wants to go and haul, which we kind of need that hauled. Oh, no, no one's going to haul that last one. It should be good for a little day. Yeah, I'm going to want to wall off this area right away, just so they don't keep doing that. That, that would get annoying. I don't know if there's any more on the map. There probably is. Let's see. That's not going to show me. Now he's dead. Some muffalo on the map, though. That's nice. Let's see what else we got here. Actually, I, I removed the forest, and I'm not lagging anymore, dude. I was... you. While I was running a few test runs with the increased forest density mod, I was getting about 10 frames a second during um, when it rained. It was horrible. Alright, looks like they're probably... Yeah, he's up now. Alright. Now I'm going to run it at one speed for a little while. Well, I figure out what I want to do here. I want to get a growing zone going right now. So let's move you. Steel slag chunks. All of those. That should be fine. He's going to haul that steel. <coughs> That's perfectly fine. Now let's get a growing zone out here. Ugh, I don't like that. Let's get it right here. Nice little area. Five by eight. That one will be potatoes. Let's get one right next to it. This one will be cotton. Actually, do we have anyone that can plant cotton? I think we can. I think we do. Yeah. No, it doesn't take a minimum of school. Now we got our guy fully healed. Let's get some more wooden walls up right here. The door here. Now let's increase the speed again. How much wood do we have? Not much left. So let's cut down the rest of these trees in the area. Oh wow, we can't actually cut down a lot. Alright. Pretty soon here though. Excuse me. We'll have to go and hunt. Oh, construction failed. Let's uh, quickly finish those. Alright. Come on, buddy. Aw, oh, dude. Slacking. Do we have the machinery? Uh, the machinery, Jesus. The components. So I do want to get... Uh, this is going to be my little compound for now. Not too big, nothing special. I do want to get power as fast as I can, though, so I can... No, 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 don't don't roof this off. Stop roofing from here to here. You roof that off, though. Uh, not this. Um... Come on, buddy. Go remove that roof. No roof allowed here. Um, power, though. Let's get some solar gen. Let's get a solar generator here. And actually, no, I don't like that spot. I'll pause for a second while we do this. Let's do one here, one here, just in case we need to get two more here. But for now, that'll do. Let's quickly get a little in room on this mountain here. Unless I want to do it over here for the batteries. Actually, no, I kind of want to put the dining rooms over here. Just so we can get a little battery room, though, going out here. So let's do that. Battery room will be right here. And it's going to go like this. Just something simple. So. Oh, and... Oh, God damn it! Come on. Ah, uh, this game sometimes. I'll put, like, what? One, two, three, four batteries for now in there. Okay, come on, guys. Can you shut up? Jesus. 
I think what I'm going to do eventually is throw a Molotov in here and just burn everything out. If I can get my hands on one. That's one. Uh... Get the power conduits just ready to go in here. And just in case one of them blows out, I want to get a power conduit ready for another one. Jesus, he just keeps failing these. Castillo's planting, that's fine. I'd much rather him plant the, p the uh, potatoes first, but I'll take it. Uh, it's going to be a while. Alright, we should have somebody else going to mine now. Where the hell is Lewis? What is he doing? Oh, they didn't get all that steel, alright. Anything else around the map? Oh, I want to get those package survival meals. That's three more meals. That's another couple hours. Oh, there's another spider. Another spoder. Oh, and there's one of their webs. Another one there. Looks like we might have gotten, er gotten everything right off the map the first time. Yeah, looks like all we missed were those three survival meals. Oh, no. More steel. Alright. Oh, another set of steel up there. 41 more steel. That's 41 more steel. That's great to have. I keep humming. I don't know why. You guys probably don't give a shit that I'm humming. Probably sounds retarded. Come on, guys. Can we help him mine a little bit here? Because he's slow as shit. Thank you. Uh, minor break risk? Why? What's up? In darkness, uncomfortable, ugly environment, joy deprived, feeling terrible, awful barrack. Well, sorry. One thing I do want to do is get them um, something to eat on right off right now. So let's get... I like doing the military. Huh? Where is it? Ammo crate tables. So let's get one there. Yeah. A few up there as well. Excuse me. One, two, three. Only is three for now. That's all we fucking need. Major break risk. Castillo. No, Lewis. Why? Needs. In darkness, feeling bad, joy deprived, awful bear. Well, sorry, I'm working on it. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, this is almost... This is getting there. Once this is done, though, I'll get a light in here. I'll get a nice AC in here to cool it down to, like, a solid 40 degrees, 50 degrees. Probably 50, just to keep it nice in here. Lewis, you are relaxing socially. Okay. Man, that shit sucks. Really does. Let's see how this come out. Um, awful. That's great. Superior, though. Which means Lewis is probably getting better at his, uh... Seven skill now. It's not bad. Let's increase the three speed while the night goes by. Yeah, he's doing... He's not bad. It's a seven. Could be worse. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of those walls pretty soon. Put in some real walls. Yeah. Oh, what do we got? Need fence? Need batteries. I know. I'm working on it. I think today, though, I'm gonna try and mine out the rest of these walls here. Just to get some real fucking walls in there. <laughs> Excuse me. How did a bunny get in here? I don't want to know. Just for future reference. Oh, I just realized that. Yeah, whoops, whatever. I'll just deal with it real quick. I'm going to be mining all day to get this area out of uh, here. Unless Castillo comes in and steps up like he is right now. 
Yeah, it still has an 8 skill in mining. Yeah, Castillo, go in there and clear that out for the guys, because they're really slow at mining. And then before the night's out, though, I do want to get these, at least these done, right here. You know? Let's get that done. Uh, no, send away for now. That's the hospitality mod, if I'm correct. Oh, come on, guys, you were right there. Thank you. Really hoping he wouldn't move the spider in here, but whatever. Oh, where are we going? Oh, we out of wood? No, we have tons. We have a little bit of wood left. Oh, they're going to get the steel. All right, fair enough. Yeah, I know we need defenses. Okay, now this area is nice and cleared out. Let's get the at least one or two batteries, and let's get two batteries right off the bat. We have the components to spare. And there's some right in the area. That is horrible looking. We'll be nicer and happier now, though. Actually, the barracks got worse. That's great. Oh, come on. How the barracks is actually worse now. Yeah, cause all the dirt, I'm guessing. Yeah, very dirty. I'll have somebody clean it tomorrow. I think I'm gonna call it for an episode here, though. I mean, not much going on. Nice and quiet. Lewis is off, you know, collecting those packaged survival meals. Looks like one of them got eaten, though. So, uh, yeah. I will see you next time guys where uh hopefully these crops will be done growing they're at zero percent right now oh no 13 percent what am i saying uh next time though we're going to try and get our dining hall up maybe not dining hall but like our, our cooking station up and stuff like that and uh hopefully we'll uh get our first raid see you guys next time thanks for watching subscribe for more uh, and like you know so i know i'm doing well have a good day.